Okay, you all, I'm gonna demonstrate um, my cabbage. Those that follow me know I, I normally mix uh, greens with my cabbage, but for this video, it's just gonna be strictly just the cabbage, just a simple recipe that you can follow, uh, minus the collard greens is what I was trying to say. So the first thing you wanna do is just add a little bacon grease. If you wanna cook it with bacon, you can. If you don't wanna add any bacon grease, that's totally up to you. I understand some people don't eat pork or they don't eat bacon but I do so I'm gonna go ahead and just heat this up first okay once your pan gets a little hot you can go ahead and start adding your vegetables if you're gonna add any you don't have to um, in place of the, the bacon grease you can use olive oil if you're gonna saute vegetables or you can use butter I'm gonna add a little butter as well that's just a little cut okra and then bell pepper and onion Again, you don't have to do okra, you don't have to do bell pepper, and you don't have to do onion. Um, take from the recipe what you want and leave what you don't want and what you don't like. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to saute these for just a few moments. Before we start um, adding our cabbage. About three minutes you want to saute your vegetables. Okay, while I'm sauteing these, I'm going to add a little minced garlic. Just whatever grain, if you want to add it. Um, I'm also going to add some of my seasoned vegetable base. All of this is optional, keep that in mind. About that much. I'm going to add just a little water. And I'm going to saute this about another minute. Now, depending on how you like your cabbage, um, it's gonna determine what you do, how, you know, basically uh, what I'm trying to say. Depending on how you like your cabbage, it's gonna depend on what you cook it in. I'm making mine in the skillet, but you can of course make one in a pot, like a Dutch oven. Um, if you like it more liquidy or you want it steamed, that way you can put the top on it. Um, I am gonna add a little liquid to mine, but mine is gonna be more so of a fried scent. I'm gonna add me some more oil to mine. But just keep in mind, you can do yours how you want. But if you want more of just a, you know, steam cabbage, you can use more of a Dutch oven. With a tight top, add a little liquid to it, your broth or whatever you're gonna add to it. And you can cook it that way. Um, this is just one of the ways that I make mine. I definitely do mine different ways, so. I'm gonna add a little bit more of my my uh, bacon grease and I'm going to toss this cabbage Now I have more cabbage I'm going to add to it. Just wanted to kind of get a little bit in there first. And remember this is going to be more on the fried side uh, versus the, um, you know, versus the steamed or uh, I'm trying to think of what I'm thinking of. Like I've seen cabbage, it has a lot of water in it. Um, for one, it makes its own kind of liquid. so. I don't like really adding too much juice and stuff to it. But to each his own. You can do what you want with your cabbage. I'm just showing you one way how I do mine. So now I'm going to go ahead and add a, a little more of my cabbage. You know when you cook it, it cooks down. So... And by the time I finish cooking, it's going to be, you know, definitely lower than this. And I like to shred my cabbage. It's not too many times you're going to see me where my cabbage isn't shredded. I have my stove on a medium heat. Keep that in mind. This is a little complete seasoning. I like complete seasoning for, um, I like it for a lot of things. Because it's, in my opinion, it has the perfect name. Because it's a, it's a complete blend of seasoning. Onion, garlic, pepper, and stuff like that. 
stuff that you're gonna put in it anyway you just have it all in one bottle versus having three or four and you're sitting there trying to do all that extra all right we're done with the beef base i'm also gonna add a little season on i'm not going to add any more liquid just some more oil and crushed pepper And these are just two seasonings you'll see me use quite a bit of. Um, that's why I can't wait to come out with my seasoning as well. I mean, if you if you look up what these are, and just look how long they've been around, you're not going to see a seasoning on the shelf around that long if, if it's not being used. <laughs> so, always keep that in mind. It's not just there if it's not selling and, and doing good. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover this for a minute. I probably should try to toss it first. Even with no liquid in there, I mean, versus besides the oil, it's still, you know, doing pretty good. And I'm just gonna cover it for a few moments. And then we'll come back and we'll stir it a little more. Keep in mind, you don't have to cook yours in the skillet. You can definitely cook it in a pot, Dutch oven, whatever you want. So I'm just gonna put one of my lids on there and it's gonna, there we go. We'll check in just a moment. Okay, before we check our cabbage again, and how long you cook it too is gonna depend on how, how well you like your cabbage done. Do you like al dente vegetables? Do you like them, which means you like them kind of crispy with a crunch to them? Or do you like them real mushy? Uh, do you like them, you know, in between? So that's something you'll just keep checking it. Um, sometimes we can't tell you how long to cook something because it's gonna depend on how you like it cooked, if that makes sense. But I wanted to share again the seasonings I use because that's a question I get all the time is what did I use, what did I use? And I'm not using anything other than what I'm using in the video, just so you know. I'm using the season all, season salt. This is one of the reasons I don't put salt on my food. I don't cook with this all the time, but all of these seasonings have salt, they have salt. So you don't have to add salt to your food unless you just like salty food. Um, or if you like to cook with salt, I'm just not a big salt person. So I'm using season all. I'm using my complete love 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 y'all know I love that they call me miss complete um, and then crushed red pepper that's just for a little bit of spice you don't need much this uh, seasoned vegetable base is just something that I use um, it's like bouillon but it's in a it's in a paste as you all can see I have a roast beef one and I have a chicken one as well roast chicken and then minced garlic So now let's go ahead and check what's going on down here and remember to keep your, my stove is on a, uh, it's like a medium, it's between low and medium. That's where I was at. I don't know what I said before. Don't cook your, your food on high. You've been burned it. And uh, I always uh, try to encourage others to, so if you start with a low heat, you could always increase it. But if you start high, shoot, you can't unburn your food. Once it's ruined, it's ruined. And I think we've all burnt something before. I know I have. So I learned that technique on my own. Just start low. You know, it's not going to hurt you to to start low. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. And see that cabbage, I don't know if you can see down there, but it, it's making its own kind of liquid. I know I have some oil in there, but it's making its own, you know, liquid as well. And I am going to add a little bit more of my complete because I know how it tastes and I know how much it takes. <laughs> I could eat my cabbage just like this. Um, I guess my phone got moving, I'm sorry. I could eat mine just like that. Um, I like a little crunch to mine, but I'm, a, I'm not gonna do that because of my family. I want them to have, have a little more done. I'm gonna bring you a little closer in just a second so you can see it. My camera girl not working for me today. She's actually one of the one of my kids that's sick. So, um, well, I'm not gonna say she's sick. She's she's well. I don't speak that negative stuff. I mean, she's not she's not feeling too well, but she she's not sick. But she's in the bed, so she can't um, help me out. So 
I'm gonna bring y'all a little closer. Let's see. So you can actually see it. And so I'm just gonna cook this a little bit longer. And it's done, it's ready to go. I'm gonna taste a little bit because it actually looks like it may be ready enough. Let's see. Okay, got to get y'all back up there on the stand. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's good. That's real good. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Y'all know I wouldn't lie to you. At this point, you all wouldn't be following me if you haven't tried my recipes, at least some of them. So, if I'm telling you it's good, you all. You can trust my my palate that that is good. And um, I showed you all the seasonings again. It does not matter how you cut your cabbage. I y'all y'all not get all kind of questions. It doesn't matter how you cut it. You don't have to use the onions, peppers, or okra if you don't want to. Um, and the bacon grease is not going to make it or break it. It does give it a flavor. If you if you eat bacon, then you know that. But if you don't eat pork or bacon, don't feel like it's not going to taste good. It's still going to be good. It's just not going to taste like the bacon. Um, if you're not going to do the bacon or the bacon grease, what I would recommend is that you use butter more so than the oil. Um, or use an oil-based butter. Does it make sense? It's like margarine or something. Something has oil in it where you can have a little butter and a little oil. I could be wrong. Or you could just use butter like I did with some kind of oil. Vegetable oil or olive oil. But, um... Definitely, if you try it, let me know. Let me know. This is delicious. I'm going to stop right here with this because I don't like mushy. <laughs> if you know me, you know I don't like mushy. Um, this is perfect. All of the liquid is gone at the bottom. That's what I wanted. I don't know if you all can see that, but it's, it's gone. So, that's perfect for me. I'm going to add a little bit more butter. And that's it. The flavor is there. And it tastes amazing. So fix it up how you want. Take from the recipe what you like. Leave whatever you don't like. Please don't inbox me or comment that you don't like okra. I really don't care. Um, I love okra. That's why I put it in there. And the thing you have to remember is that you're not eating it. You know, you're not eating it. How, when you make it, you put in it what you like. And then it's going to be what you like. But don't tell me that you don't like something that I eat. Because that doesn't make any sense to me. So with that being said, have a wonderful, wonderful uh, rest of your day. I'm still not done cooking. I'm going to um, I'm making stuffed chicken, so I'll be posting the video for that uh, shortly.